Hey, hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the most important pattern you need to learn if you're starting data structures algorithms. That is two pointers approach. This is the one of the popular pattern to solve a lot of questions based on arrays and strings as well as linked list. So if you observe in the lead code, you can see the two pointer algorithms have around 227 problems. So 227 problems in lead code, you can solve through two pointers algorithm. So you can see the how much it is important for your product based companies interview process, right? So without any further delay, let's get started with this video. Within the next eight minutes, I'm going to teach you what is the actually two pointer algorithms. And the second one is how to use them and what are the different types of two pointer algorithm and we will see one or two examples of lead code problems how we can achieve these two pointer algorithms easily so first of all let's see what is two pointer algorithm is nothing but first we need to know about the pointer the pointer is nothing but the variable name which are variable which is representing the index of the element for example here you can see here here i have given left is a variable name and it is pointing to the index or position one and based on this index or position we can access the value as well right and if you use two pointers at a time to achieve your problem then it is called two pointers algorithm so in the two pointer algorithm we will use two pointers that is left and right or whatever the name you can suggest you can go with it but i suggest for the left and right ones so that in the two pointer algorithm what will happen the left pointer and right pointer can converge towards the each other so that they are, can travel opposite to the each other or they can travel together each other along with each other so there are different kinds of techniques based on our problem requirements and when coming to the different types of two pointer algorithm i can say is nothing but first one is opposite ends or converging pointers what is meant by converging pointers are nothing but simply I will say here the two pointers will start from opposite ends and they will converge towards each other and this type of techniques we will use more for valid palindrome techniques and also in the lead code you can see container with a water for these type of problems we will use this technique. So whenever the comparison is required from the start to end, we will use this. And the second one we have is same direction orient. So the same direction is nothing but the all two pointers will start from the same position. And one will search for the new elements and the second one will fetch the any order if we are getting or not. So mostly it will go with a sub array related. And this technique also we will call it as a sliding window. But in this video, I'm not talking about sliding window concept. So totally we will talk about sliding window in a separate video. And also the next one is fast and slow pointers where nothing but based on our requirement, the two pointers, are, two pointers will start from the same place. But one pointer will move very quickly or it will jump the positions very rapidly. And another point will move very slowly. So all these examples we will see in the future videos. Don't worry. As of now, we just need to know about what are the types of two pointer algorithm we have. Once you get into the practice, you can know where to use and how to use. And when to use this techniques are when I can use this type of two pointer algorithm is nothing but I will write here. So just give me a second. So the two pointer algorithms you can apply on linear data structures more linear data structures like based on arrays and strings and also in linked list okay so these are the very crucial data structures you need to know whenever you see the problems or the patterns based on arrays or strings or linked list whether they are for example uh, they have arranged in ascending or descending order so definitely we have to use the two point algorithms to achieve our answer so let's see a few examples so that you can understand guys and before that yeah we have one more thing what is the time complexity and how it will get reduced 
right so for example if you want to check whether the given string is palindrome or not so we all know about one popular problem in lead code that is race car right so race car i have taken so if you use for loop to take one variable and to compare with the other variable what you guys will do you have to first here in this i have to reverse the string right so if i reverse the string what will happen again i need to store it in the another string name 2 and string 2 and string 1 will be compared and we will see the output whether they are equal then it will be palindrome or else no so what will happen here is the space complexity so this valid palindrome or not we have created extra data structures so which is nothing but space complexity is o of n and time complexity is also o of n and there is a second example i can say like for example the list is given as 10023051212 and they if they ask you to uh, sort this again what you guys will do you have to write a nested for loop to compare the elements and swap the elements right so this is again here time complexity is the matter so in one example i have used the extra space so space complexity got increased in another case i have used nested for loop to compare the elements and swap each other then again time complexity got increased so in this all these cases you can use the two pointer algorithm so that you can reduce the space complexity sometimes and sometimes you can achieve the time complexity of o of n and space complexity o of 1 let's see how we can achieve this simply is nothing but here instead of using nested loops i will use two pointers so one pointer will we will be at r and another pointer at will be another r which is nothing but one from the starting one on the ending and whenever both are equal i will slowly increase the one pointer and i will decrease the another pointer like this i will compare and if the all the comparisons are correct and also they become or they came to the one place it is converging towards each other right so they will coincidence or they will cross the each other so when the condition is achieved and if all the letters from the left hand side right hand side equal then it is palindrome and for example here also in the second example i will use the pointers in the same direction which is nothing but parallel pointer we will say or same directed pointer we can say right so what i will do is i will increase the rightmost one which is nothing but for example a and b so here I written i a and b first i will make b to move okay i will say whether both are greater or less if they are not greater or less or for example a is greater than zero if it is there i won't swap them and next what i will do is i will increase the b and a so now a is here and b is here and i will check whether a is greater than b or not if not then i will swap them so now zero will come to this place and two will come to this place and again i will compare these two and again i will swap so zero will come sorry three will come here zero will come here see zeros are moving towards the end of the list so this is the question right they will give you zeros in between and they will ask you to move all the zeros aside so that you don't have to do the nested for loop so this is how you can achieve time complexity space complexity a bit better when you use two pointers algorithm and let's see the popular program that is valid palindrome how we can achieve i will explain you in detail so i will take two examples which is nothing but race car so for example i can say this is the left variable and this is the right so what i will do is i am writing the code here left i will take it as index 0 and the right i will take index as length of the list or the string minus 1 so here i will write for example n is equal to length of str1 so this is stored in str1 so n minus 1 okay simple this is what we have learned 
and now i will write a for loop and how this will work if left and right both are equal then i will increase the left and then i will decrease the right again if they are equal i will increase i will decrease right so for loop will be terminated when you have to design right so the condition i have given i will give here for example i am not talking about any programming language okay here i am designing the code the for loop will be terminated whenever the left is more than right why because once the left is more than right means it is crossed the right one right so which is nothing but the half of the string crossed and left become right right will become left or if they both are equal then i will terminate the loop okay and in this i will write if str1 of left is double is equal to str1 of right so what i am doing is i am comparing the values if both are equal then what we have to do is i have to decrease the right to minus 1 i have to increase the left to plus 1 if it is not if both are not same then what i have to print print not palindrome and immediately i will break the loop i don't have to increase or decrease the left and right why because for any instance for example this last element treated as e the left and right are not equal then we don't have to increase directly come to the this phrase and print not palindrome and break the loop that's it until they reach the same point for example r r equal a is equal c is equal and left also come to e position and right also will come to the e position so this is how you have to implement the code and this is actually the algorithm or pseudo code i have given okay so don't think like it is a lot of syntax errors i am not talking about programming language okay and the second one is this is converging if you want to take the two pointers are traveling parallelly then there is another example in lead code that is called move zeros to the end of the list so i have taken the simple example i will explain i don't write the code okay so both the pointers will start from here then i will move for example this is a this is b i will move b first so if a is greater than b if a is greater than b or b is equal to 0 whatever it may be this is how we will swap them right so for example i have already explained about this in the previous slide so you can watch it it will become bit boring if i explain again and again so let's go to the another example that is called container with the most water so the container with the most water is nothing but here they have given some lines so you have to find the lines where the maximum water can be sustained between those two lines so what we can do is here one pointer here i will place it as left and another pointer i will place it as a right so i will move the left pointer if it is less than the right one so here i move to left here and see i will see here left is more than right now now what i will do is i will find the maximum water can be stored between these two lines why because always the lowest length will get more water right for example see if the water is here so here you can maximum multiply 1 with 8 elements so 8 liters of water is stored so this is first condition for example i will store it in a variable and again what i will do is i will increase left to next position and i will calculate the to total area which sustain with the water and again i will move the right and again i will calculate the data so we will get a list of elements and in this every time what i will do is i will store the maximum element so that whenever the maximum value i got i will store the corresponding right and left elements so that i don't have to verify again and again right so this is how you need to do this problem so this containers problem will take much time like 10 minutes to explain each and everything from the scratch so i will do a separate video for this i hope in this video you have 
learned about the two pointers approach for the basic problems so practice at least 20 to 30 problems on two point algorithm so that you will get ready for any product based companies interview so that's it for today's video so based on this two pointer algorithm in the next video i will do a problem so see you guys in the next video